Hello everyone, welcome back. What a week it's been. It's actually a week since I filmed the last video. I filmed it last Friday and then the internet went down in like my whole village so I couldn't post it until the Monday, um, which doesn't matter at all. It's just I did want to like, I wanted you all to know what was going on with Billy, um, but that's fine. You found out a few days later, which makes no difference at all, really. Um, so it's now the following Friday. He's been in hospital since last Wednesday, so nine, ten days. And he's absolutely fine. I don't want to say too much in case I jinx it, but they are talking about discharging him next week, potentially early next week, depending on how he gets through the weekend. So the start of this week was really, really taxing. Um, we thought he was kind of okay last Saturday and then really disappointingly he refluxed on the Saturday night or there was something like we all, it was all going in the right direction and they gave him like a little bit of mash feed, really bland, basic stuff that you feed after a colic surgery and he just couldn't tolerate it, couldn't cope, so he refluxed. So Monday, Tuesday were really hard because I'd had the initial like, okay, he's gonna be okay, he's gonna be fine on like Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I thought, he really, this is really critical, they're not, they're not joking, it's a big thing for them to go through. Um, so he turned a corner, I'd say on Wednesday, um, he was just like, he was burping a lot, but he wasn't refluxing and they said that there were a couple of times throughout the day where he looked like he was uncomfortable and they were just monitoring him and seeing if he would need the tube passing down into his stomach. But they actually just left him to it and were just like, come on, Billy, you've got to work through this. And he did. Um, touch wood. So that was Wednesday. I was with him. I've literally been to see him every day for two, three, four hours sometimes, depending on his mood. Um, so then yesterday evening I went to see him and he was even better. Like he didn't burp. He did a poo while I was there. He was eating hay and I've not seen him eat hay yet. Um, so I think, I keep repeating myself, sorry, my brain, I've hardly slept this week. I've been living off carbs and sugar, literally bread has been my main diet, which is really bad, but, um, you know, convenience and just grabbing quick food has been all I've been about to manage. Um, so yeah, they are, they've halved his pain medication today. Tomorrow I think they're going to quarter it. Hopefully on Sunday the catheter can come out and he'll just be on like oral butte. And then fingers crossed he could be coming home on like Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, I don't know. I did say to the vet I'd rather him come home a day too late than a day too early. Like I just, I'm stressing about bringing him home. I'm going to really be worrying about him. Probably going to end up sleeping in his stable. Um... I don't know, I just don't know how I will ever be able to leave him overnight again. Um, obviously this is still just a really raw, quick update. I just didn't want you all to be worrying, like he's okay and it looks like he is going to be absolutely fine, which if you'd have asked me Monday, Tuesday, he was still, as the surgeon put it, he was still very much on a knife edge, but he is almost guaranteed to be fine now. He's just got to tolerate eating proper amounts of hay and feed and you know so we're on the right road if anyone can do it Billy can do it like he's so he's just a lover of life isn't he he just he loves it also he's had such a good team looking after him everybody at Leehurst has been amazing and they all like I don't know if they say this to everyone but they've all been coming up saying like he's their favorite horse in the yard and you know, what a character he is. Apparently, um, obviously it's a university hospital, so there's students there that are learning how to be vets and surgeons and whatnot. Um, but apparently all the students were late to one of their lectures on Thursday morning, and the surgeon was like, where is everyone? The other vet said, oh, they're all with Billy, they're all stood at his stable. So I thought that was really funny, and I was like, I bet Billy is absolutely thriving off the attention. Like. 
he just loves it. Um, so yeah, it's been, this, this week has been exhausting. It's been so, like, I don't want to milk this video. I don't want to milk it. I'm not looking for sympathy, but Monday, Tuesday, I was just the, like, obviously I knew it was a serious situation the whole time, but Monday, Tuesday, I really thought, bloody hell, this could be, you know, he could get better and then just completely not be able to tolerate any food and then we're going to have to make decisions and, you know, it just, it's not even worth saying some of the thoughts that I was having, but it was not a good time. Um, but in the back of my mind, I did just feel like he was going to be okay, but at the same time, you can't be complacent and you can't get too confident with things like this. So been about the worst experience of my life <laughs> thank you billy um certainly living up to his nickname of the bills because bloody hell the bills are going to be rolling in but you know you've got to do what you've got to do haven't you he literally means the world to me my vet was texting me saying fingers crossed he's going to pull through and be okay i was like he has no option like he's my soulmate the only option is for him to be okay like he's not going anywhere so you know, I'm going to give you a proper full breakdown of exactly what happened, a play by play, um, when he's home and I'm feeling a little less like a 40 year old woman. Um, but right now, you know, I'm literally just coasting through existing. On a serious note though, I do just want to say thank you so much for all your lovely comments and words of support for both me and Billy. Um, on my last video. Um, I did read all of them, I just wasn't mentally... I just didn't want to be replying to YouTube comments given the significance of the situation, but I did read them all, I appreciate them all, and, you know, I will start responding to comments now he's kind of out the woods a little bit, so let's hope the weekend runs really smoothly and he can come home next week.